Hey guys, Shane here with eTrailer.com. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through how to install the eTrailer.com trailer hub assembly. These hubs are gonna be designed for 3,500 pound axles, and what these are going to do is allow your brake pads a new surface to grab onto, so if you're carrying a heavy load, we know our, our trailer is gonna stop for us. Uh, they're gonna be a cast iron or an iron construction, so very durable. Nice black finish on the outside, really gonna help resist rust and corrosion. These are gonna work with 13, 14, 14 and a half, and 15 inch wheels. They're gonna be 10 inch in diameter. What I really like about these, they're gonna come with the bearings pre-installed and pre-greased. They're gonna come with the grease seals. They're gonna come with the races. They're gonna come with the cap. And the assembly is also gonna come with the lug nuts. Our lug bolts are gonna be half inch in diameter. They're gonna be five on four and a half. Each assembly is gonna have a 1,750 pound weight capacity. It's gonna be compatible with hydraulic and electric brake drums. It's also gonna be compatible with standard axles from most manufacturers like Dexter, Lippert, LCI, and Alco. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk you through how to get installed. Start your installation, you need to remove your old hub off of your axle shaft and then take a towel and you want to wipe down all the old grease that was on here uh, make sure it's not real marred up or anything and then what we're going to do is you can either use a grease gun if you have one or a tub of bearing grease and we're going to put some on the shaft smear it around before we put our new hub in place Get you a good nice coat on there. And don't be afraid to put a, a, a bunch of it on there. Uh, the more grease you have, the better it's gonna protect your bearings. Then we'll flip it over. We're gonna pull off this top cap. Be careful, because the bearing that's on this side doesn't have a seal on it. So you don't wanna pull the bearing out. Pull that cap off. Take our assembly, slide it in place. Be careful that you don't push that outer bearing out. You just don't want it to uh, fall on the floor or anything like that. And we're gonna install our old our washer. Um, make sure you clean it off because it will probably have a lot of old grease on it. Then we can put on our axle nut. I'm gonna make sure uh, when you put this on, it doesn't have to be tight. We don't want to tighten it down, over tighten it. So pretty much hand tight to hold your hub on and your bearings in place. There's a hole right on the top of the shaft for a cotter pin. Let's turn. What I did is I went all the way tight and then loosened it to where uh, it gave me access to that hole. Then we'll take our cotter pin, slide it back through. And we'll bend these up like that, hold our cotter pin in place and keep our axle nut from spinning off. Then you're gonna take your cap Slide it over like this, and we're gonna take a soft hammer. We're just gonna kinda tap that into place. Get our cap on. And then we're going to wipe off the grease on the outside. Make sure your brakes, your pads are grabbing onto your hub, and then make any adjustments necessary that you need to, to get your brakes working properly. Once you've got one completed, go ahead and reinstall your wheel and repeat the process for any other uh, hub assembly that you're replacing. That's gonna do it for a look at and installation on the eTrailer.com Blue Dot Trailer Hub Assembly.